Good afternoon, members. How you guys doing today? <laughs> members live stream number two. How you guys doing? <laughs> How's your day going today, everybody? How's your day? It's our second members live stream. Good to see everybody. Busy day, busy day for sure. How you guys doing? <laughs> Omi Queen's in the house. Always pleasure to watch your stream. Thanks so much. Always pleasure to have you here too, Omi Queen. You know I love you guys. Tom Boy, how you doing, Tom? Good to see ya. <laughs> there we go. VB Hawaii, second members only giveaway. There you go. Second members only stream today. I do have giveaways for you, even though they're not VB related. You stick around. I'm going to give you some real world stuff today just for fun. So we'll get that to you. We'll do that in a little bit, everybody. <laughs> Ken Penguin. Hello. How you doing, Ken Penguin? Good to see you. You know, we're just getting started. We're just we're just getting the show on the road here. <laughs> just got off work. Let's get the party started. You bet. There you go. Nothing's better than being off work. You just leave. If it was a Friday, it would be even better. Am I right? <laughs> But we can have some fun on Monday, too, right? We can have some fun. Uh, at a friend's house, having a game day. VV Talk and board games. Nicely done. Which board games do you play in VV Hawaii? Monops, Risk, playing Sorry, Clue, Scrabble, Yahtzee. <laughs> Which one are you playing? Newer games? There you go. Pony Boy, hello. How you doing, Pony Boy? Good to see you. Thanks for popping in on the member stream. We got Hinanu. How you doing? Good to see you, Hinanu. Nice to see you today. What's up, members? <laughs> King Penguin giving a little, little hang loose. <laughs> the biggest bro. Let's go. There we go. Let's go, everybody. All right. Let's go, my collectibles. We're in the house right now. We'll wait for more members to get here. I'll go over what we're doing today. This is going to be a fun stream, everybody. A fun member stream. You know, if you're if you're just tuning in, you want to join the membership, just join up and you can get in on the uh, chat. And we got three giveaways for you today and the real world giveaways, too. I think you're going to like them, everybody. I think you're going to like them. <laughs> Juan says, sup, my collectibles. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you again, for sure. Ken Penguin watching the two full ads just for you, Aaron. Oh, that's so nice of you. <laughs> the full ads, right? <laughs> that's all right. Here we go. What's up, Aaron? Good time for me. Nicely done. I'm glad, YouTube, you're here. That's awesome. YouTube 671. Yeah, I want to do the afternoon streams too, right? Just to see if everybody's enjoying them. Let me know if the time works for you guys, uh, members. Let me know, right? Christian J, how you doing? Good to see you today. What's up, my collectibles? What's up, fam? There you go. Good to see you. I'm even stacking with you on, on uh, I'm stacking with you, bro, on comics. That's what I'm doing, everybody. I'm looking long way down the road. I'm stacking up some stuff. I'm stacking up some stuff. <laughs> raid, raid, raid from Rob stuff. Rob stuff. I wonder if his stream is still going on. I was chatting in his stream the whole time. He gave me good advice. You know, we usually overlap a little bit on Mondays, right? But that's all right. I love his stream. I'm always there. You guys know that. Hamoon, raid from Rob stuff. There you go. <laughs> Kayla, how you doing, uh, Kayla? Good to see you again. Hopefully you've been enjoying the captioning. I've been adding after. Um, she's been asking about captioning on the videos like while we're doing them. I wish I could get them on these live streams. So there you go. Moon Knight Day. Have you stacked my collectibles? Not yet, but I will. I'm just waiting. I'm being a little bit patient. Waiting to see if the prices go down a little bit more on Moon Knight. Then I'm going to stack them up. Probably get the, the secret rare as well. Get one of those. Maybe uh, my plan's kind of like, you know, one secret rare, maybe like 10 or 20 of the uh, uncommons, and then I'm good to go. That's what I've been do doing on all the comics that have dropped recently. All the good ones anyway. <laughs> YouTube, I just started my day at work. It's 8.30 a.m. Tuesday on my side of the world. Guam. Oh, man. Oh, you just started your day at work. Wow. Thanks for tuning in, though. I appreciate that. Now, don't get in trouble with your work. If you if you have a boss or two, don't get in trouble for the stream, YouTube 760, uh, 671. Just be careful. Nothing's worth losing your job over. <laughs> Rob loves Mike like those. Oh, thanks, biggest bro. That's cool. You guys just coming from Rob's stream? Oh, man, that's so awesome. You know, he was streaming all day today. I was talking in there, giving me good advice. 
I'm really excited. I, I can actually get HRO cards now on Immutable X, the website. I'm going to show you in just a little bit how you can do it too. Because I'm up in Canada. I can't go onto the HRO actual site, but they're on Immutable X, which is a place that, you know, hopefully our, you know, VV stuff's going to show up too. Remember, they have that agreement. So it's all going to be cool. I got my account there. I was looking. I can buy them right now. I can buy like not packs, but I can buy individual cards. So I was looking at stuff. So. We hey, how you doing? Good to see you, uh, Kili Kala. Good to see you. There we go. Let's go. I know, right? <laughs> so what happened? Um, so what happened? You days with Kit, LOL. So uh, odd, so many got rebounds. Yeah, I know. It's interesting, right? So I don't know what happened on the drop. I slept right through it. And if you watched my video from a day ago, I didn't even know how awesome it was until after it came out. And so I went and got four of them because, you know, I think the thing is so amazing, right? So I got four and I'm going to have them. The reason I got four is because I got four people in my family here and we're going to drive them around together as soon as they allow transferring again. Then I'll get the, you know, on the different phones and we'll be driving them around the street. It's going to be super fun, right? Super fun. So. Adam, how you doing, Adam? Good to see you. Good day, sir. Stacking up the comics. Yeah, I'm doing the same. Moon, um, not the Moon Knight one yet or the Werewolf by Night one yet. I'm waiting a little bit for that, right? So we got more Hawaiian gang going on. There we go. <laughs> the actor, what's going on? Everything is going on, actor. I'm going to show you a little bit as we come up here, you guys. I'm going to show you some stuff today. We got some giveaways to do. I know they're not they're not VV giveaways. They're real world giveaways. And I'm going to send something to the winners today. This is going to be fun. I got look at all my collectibles back here. I got to like, you know, shoot some stuff out to you guys. Right. So uh, Cole Pop, how you doing? Everything's going great. Cole Pop, how are you doing, too? Rob stuff. Rob stuff loves my collectibles. Rob stuff. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for commenting, Rob. Uh, are you still doing your stream, man? I'm sorry if you are. Don't mean to cut you off or anything like that. Hopefully you're, you know, maybe you're, maybe you're done. I heard you might be coming back on tonight. So that's cool. You know, I was chatting in Rob Stuff's channel. Everybody should check him out. Love Rob Stuff's channel. He was giving me good advice today as much as he could. <laughs> Clint, good afternoon, my collectibles. Hope your day is going well. Thanks so much, Clint. You too as well. We'll get into what we're going to cover today, everybody, just shortly. Just to give people a chance to kind of filter in here. Uh, Dion says, stack it werewolf by night. Let's go the comic way. Yeah, I know. I'm going to be stacking it up too. Just waiting a little bit. I haven't checked it in the last, you know, about half an hour to an hour. I'm probably going to get a secret rare and then probably 10 to 20 commons. That's what I'm doing. You know, that's what I'll be looking at doing today or tonight. We'll see. You know, there's no rush. It's there. So I can go get it anytime I want. There we go. VV Hawaii. On the menu today, we've got the new Doomlings game, Risk Europe. Then, oh, Risk Europe. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> and then maybe some Twilight Imperium later. We got uh, some Huli Huli chicken cooking up. It's Friday somewhere in the world. Oh, it sounds like a perfect day for you guys. That's awesome, VV Hawaii. I love it. I love it. Rob Stuff loves it. Thanks, ET Buds. You guys are all crashing. That's great. Shara, how you doing? Good to see you today. Good to see you. Hi, everybody. Mario's in the house. Hey, hey, Mario, how you doing? Edwin's here. Good to see you guys too. This is great. YouTube, <laughs> same thing. Uh, Dimitri, hi everybody. How you doing, uh, Dimitri? Good to see you. There you go, Alejandro, Rob stuff. Oh, you guys are all coming from Rob's channel. That's so fun. Thanks to you guys. It's such a cool. Yeah, I, I love watching the streams. I could just sit there all day and watch them. Sheriff's is cool. Nicely done. There you go. Uh, Rude Jog says, what's up, my collectible family? Hope you're all doing well. Thanks for the amazing content you've been outputting, Aaron. Thanks so much. I appreciate that. Just trying to keep it up, keep it positive, have some fun. I have some thoughts about that too, everybody, about like what we should be doing as YouTube as um, YouTubers and also as members, you know, of Vivi, right? What we should all be trying to do, you know, to improve our, uh, you know, app and our investments, you know, not financial advice, but our collectibles, you know, like just being smart about it in the world, right? I'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, YouTube, yeah, there you go. Kid is awesome. What an unexpected NFT. I know. I was super shocked. If you see my video about it, I just couldn't help myself. I, you know, slept through the drop, didn't go for the drop. You know, I just thought it was a static car. And I, you know, that was cool, but I was going to see what it was going to be after in the aftermarket. I wasn't rushing to get the drop or anything. And I was thinking, oh, it might go below retail because, you know, some people said that too. And I was kind of like, oh, yeah, whatever. And so I just, you know, slept in because I was up pretty late on Saturday. And then I woke up and then I started to see people, you know, on Twitter, like driving it around. And I was like, are you serious? You can drive this car? 
So I was like, no way. And then you can open it up. And, you know, you guys have seen all that you can do with it. So I was just like, oh, my gosh, I have to get this car right now. So I picked it up. I picked four of them up. I got them between 125 to 145 in price. But that's OK. I'm not looking like, you know, flipping them or anything. I want four because I have four people in the family. I want to drive them around with them. So as soon as the transfer is open, I'm going to transfer them over to our different phones. And we're just going to go in the out in the street somewhere and drive them around, have some fun with them, right? They, they look amazing, right? So <laughs> you're not streaming anymore. Just going to hang out here and work. Nicely done, Rob. He put it, he put in all day after uh, today. Rob, are you going to be on tonight again? Let me know if you're going to be on tonight again. <laughs> there we go. Alexander. Hello, A.A. Ron. How you doing? That's the way to say it. A.A. Ron. <laughs> Oh my God, that's such a funny skit, you guys. It always, oh, I always get that skit. It's so funny, right? The actor, I want to do an NFT called, I want to do an NFT called Cash Cows. That sounds cool. I like with the K, Cash Cows. That's good. They just keep giving you more cash and cash over time. Now, you know, that would be awesome, right? I'm doing one right now. So maybe after I have that one done that I'll show you guys an update on that in just a sec. But after I'm done that and stuff, maybe I'll do a video about how to do one in case you guys want to get into it because it's really interesting, the process. And uh, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun, right? So, Jorgo, how you doing? I'll get a secret rare as well. Just waiting for the dip. Yeah, I have no I have no rush on it. I'll get it. You know, it's there, right? I saw it go up quite a bit, which was really cool. And now it's kind of stabilizing. We'll see where it ends up, but I'll probably pick one up. It's a great comic, you guys. I mean, it's such a nice comic. And of course, the show's doing really good. Like, it's a good show, good premiere. We'll see where it goes. Now we got the uh, collectible coming to the app on Wednesday. So that's cool, too. So I'll pick up, a, you know, I'll definitely stack some uncommons, maybe some commons. We'll see where the price sits. But I'm not in a rush. I'll probably do that tonight or something. We'll see. <laughs> Patty Stacks, that's what I'm talking about. Patty Stacks, scooped up Marvel's one rare, not Marvel Comics one. There's only like 20 left on the market. I know, that's a pretty rare comic now. It's actually getting like, you know, there's hardly any available. People aren't selling it. So nicely done. That's a good one. And they have the Marvel show coming. I know it's actually based upon, you know, the Human Torch and the original Marvel characters, but it's such a cool comic. Beautiful cover, you guys. It's so beautiful. There we go. Hi, Randy Chavez put on YouTube, uh, put, put up on YouTube that you can transfer again. Yeah, for a brief moment, you could transfer. People did some transferring and then they shut it back down again. There's some theories that they think that the VV people wanted to do their own transferring. And so they opened it up and then they shut it back down again. Or maybe they just wanted to see where people were transferring from or what accounts started to transfer so they could like pinpoint more. Who knows what they're doing over there, but apparently you can't do it right now, right? So I think it was up for a bit. Now it's down because I tried earlier and you, uh, I don't think it's available right it doesn't work by the looks of it but maybe they're getting it ready to bring it back soon yeah yeah that's probably what they're doing um i think maybe they're doing some targeting just like you know opening it up see who transfers you know i don't know how long it was open for only um, i don't know like 10 minutes 20 minutes i don't even know but yeah it seems the transfer's open now yeah i don't know is it open right now everybody try out see if you can transfer and let us know we'll see if it's actually open at this moment i tried a bit earlier today and it wasn't i wasn't able to do it between uh two accounts that i have and uh, so we'll see, right? Gary, imagine if you could see everyone's cars in your phone too. I know, that's so cool. <laughs> Maznak, how you doing? Good to see you, Maznak. Little Canadian flag there, little wave. How you doing? Good to see you too. Gary says, hi, everybody. There you go. Share a false alarm. <laughs> false alarm. Yeah, I don't think you can do it, but we'll see, right? The actor with a lot of thumbs up and fire and all the stuff. That's awesome. Bob Sales. Hi, my favorite positive person. Hey, everyone else. <laughs> Thanks, Bob Sales. That's so nice of you, right? Thank you so much. Dream Hawaii says, Aloha, man. We're all dreaming of Hawaii. We all want to be over at BV Hawaii's house playing board games, you know, having some of that chicken he's talking about. I mean, how great would that be, right? <laughs> Uh, false alarm. I saw the transfer option is there on now on the app. Well, the transfer option has never gone away. It's just, you couldn't fulfill the transfer. So you could try to transfer it, but it would just say no. So I tried it earlier today. Couldn't actually get it right. So, you know, I don't think it's open now, but check it out everybody and see if the, if it's there, right? Here we go. We got Demo. Demo became a member. Thanks for joining the community, Demo. There you go. You're in the house. This is awesome. I'll go over what we're doing today, guys, in just a sec. But Demo, you're now in it. Good to see you. Now start chatting. Tell us where you're from. You know, tell us what you're doing. You know, get to know everybody here. Everybody say hi to Demo. It's good to have a new member in the in the in the chat. There we go. 
false alarm. Yeah, just like I said. Hey, everybody, I hope you had good luck on today's drop. Uh, I think the bots took a beating. <laughs> Maybe. I do see a decent amount of bot-like listings, but I also see a lot more regular people listings too, which is cool, you know? So like, you know, hopefully we'll see what happens with that. But I didn't get it on the drop today. I didn't get the comic. I tried, you know, like you got to always go for it, but I'll be picking them up in a little bit, right? So Rob Stuff says, just try the transfer. No luck. Yeah, it looks like it was up for a bit and it's down. So um, I tried it as well. So it's not working at the moment. But everybody, every now and again, if you want in the stream here, just try it out. You know, let us know if you can, you know, and because uh, that would be cool, right? There we go. Demo says, hi, great content. What would you rate higher? A regular mint secret rare or a sub 210 rare and a common? I mean, a rare is 240. It's 204 comic, a good buy for future instance like Moon Knight. Yeah, so the secret rares are always the best, in my opinion, if you can get it with a, at a close price. Um, of course, a 210, uh, a sub 210 rare or common is really astounding as well. They're going to be harder to sell, though, if you ever want to sell it one day in case in case that's what you want to do in the end, right? If you're looking at value, obviously. Because if you're getting a low mint, you're obviously looking at value, right? You're not necessarily looking at holding long term i would assume right otherwise you just get a common like somewhere at the floor and then you just keep it but if you're looking at it low mint uh there are harder to sell because people have to search for them right so if you get a secret rare you can get any kind of they're all low mint right so so that would be my kind of thought process i would go for the secret rare first over a low mint and then i would fill it in with the low mint but it's up to you whatever you think demo let me know what you think about what i just said right there so there you go yeah transfer is not quite working right so your Star Wars collectibles look dope. Thanks so much. I got one for you today, guys. I'll let me get into it right now. We got 80 people in here, so let's share the screen, you guys. Let's let's show you what we're doing today. Now, here we go. We got live stream number two. Let me just blow this up a little bit right there. Actually, maybe do you guys prefer the big one? Uh, how how is my quality, by the way? I've been having some some internet blurry issues lately, and you know I don't want to have like everybody think it's their internet, right? So. Anyway, um, so here we go. We got our live stream today, members giveaway. This is only only members here today. So if you want to get in on this, you have to join the membership. It's only a buck, so it's good. We got a new member. We got Demo today. That's great. So get in on this if you want. You can join just by hitting the join button on my you know home screen of my you know of the channel. And like I said, it's a buck a month, and uh, all the proceeds go into giveaways. Even though we can't do transfers right now, I still got you covered today, everybody. Don't worry, members. I won't be doing giveaways on our regular streams because, you know, that's where we have to do transfer in-app. But for members, I want to make sure you still get your value for membership, even though we can't transfer. So I'm going to shoot you off some real-world collectibles today, everybody. This is going to be fun. Just a few, and I got a really good one. If you talk about Star Wars, I'm going to send you a vintage Star Wars toy today to one of the lucky members of the channel because I want you to get into the real world stuff as well. Once you start combining the both, it's super fun. If you look over actually um, really quickly here, if you look over to my right here, you got zombie Captain America and you got zombie hunter Spidey, right? So of course, if we get He-Man, that would be great. But, you know, marrying up real world collectibles with your, uh, you know, NFTs is a lot of fun and kind of gives a double layer, right? So you can join by doing that. So that's at any time. You probably have to do it off a mobile phone though, because I think we've had some mobile issues. YouTube doesn't really allow it. So you have to kind of be on a computer, right? So we got three giveaways today for you members. We're just going to do it in the chat like we normally do. And you're going to send me your address as opposed to sending me your um, you know, QR code. You're going to send me your home address. Now, if you're not comfortable with that, that's totally cool. You can always back out. No worries. I'm not gathering like an email list or anything like that with your addresses. This is just literally to mail you something. So if you don't want to do that, totally understand. I mean, don't worry. No pressure. Of course, you can just say no, thank you. And that's totally cool. Right. So anyway, one of them, I'm going to give this comic book away. This is a real world comic book. I really like this one. I picked it because it's got the Ghost Rider on the cover. It's a web of Spider-Man and it has Venom in it. Three awesome characters. It's got the Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider. I think this is a really cool comic. I'm going to mail this out to you today. Okay. So I'm just going to mail it. So all you do is you, if you win this, like I said, just Go to Twitter or Instagram, DM me, and I'll make sure it's you. And just give me your address if you're comfortable. You don't have to, of course. And uh, I'll just literally mail it to you. That's it. And it'll show up at your house at some point in the next little while. I won't show up at your house. Don't worry. <laughs> I, won't, I won't start sending you a bunch of letters or spam or anything either. I'm just going to shoot it out to you, right? So just keep it private. Don't put your uh, address here in the chat, of course, right? But I'm going to send you this web of Spider-Man. And you can actually see right here that I actually have the physical comic. 
right here. This is actually it. It's a really nice comic. I like it. I like it because, like I said, it's got Ghost Rider in it, which is really cool. It's a whole part one of the Spirits of Venom, so it's kind of in the supernatural realm. I think it applies to what we're getting in the app, so I'm going to shoot this physical comic to you. Then you can have it just for fun. So hopefully you guys like that. And then, of course, I'm going to send you another Ghost Rider comic. Now, this is a really cool, more modern comic. It's a very, very cool series. There's part. It's a limited series, so there's five of them. This is the fifth one, okay? And this is Danny Ketch, Ghost Rider. This is awesome. Look at the beautiful art. I got the comic book right here, you guys. See this one right here? I love the Ghost Rider. The supernatural stuff is totally hitting the MCU right now. This is a decent comic. I'm going to mail it out to whoever wins this one. So that's really cool. We're just going to send that out. Then you can put it on your wall behind you. You're going to have to send me some photos of you reading it or displaying it or something, right? So let's do that, right? That's going to be awesome. But the creme de la creme, everybody. This is the one you want to get in on. So if you're not a member, you're going to want to get on this one. I'm shooting you a 1995 vintage Boba Fett, still sealed on the card. This is like, you know, it's 1995. It's not the original Boba Fett from the uh, 70s and 80s. So it's not worth thousands. But this is a really nice collectible, you guys. And it's still sealed. It's 100% vintage. I have it right here behind me. This is part of my collecting. If we get him in the app, it's going to go absolutely berserk. But this is it right here, you guys. The Boba Fett, this exact one. And I'm going to mail it right to you. No charge. And check it out on the back right here. It's got all the characters from the mid 90s. So if you're of that age, maybe you grew up playing with this this line of toy. This is not the original line of toy from like the 70s and 80s. This is the 1990s line when it came back. And this is the Boba Fett from that series. So this is such a good collectible, you guys. I'm going to shoot it off to you guys as well. So hopefully you guys like that. <laughs> what do you guys think of those giveaways? Are you guys going to get in on that for sure? This is going to be fun for sure. I'll just go back to the chat right here. That's it right there. A little fire action. Let's go. There we go. Looks great. Yeah, that cover. <laughs> Killy says, I want to win. I know this is going to be so fun for sure. I'm going to throw. This is only for Monday. Remember, this is only for members. I won't be doing this on Wednesday or Saturdays because I only do VV ones then. And we'll, you know, but we can't do them until the transfer comes back. So this is Monday members only just for you guys, right? Because you guys are members here. And if you want to chat, just join, right? So RC, yeah, there we go. Bob Sales, I need it for my physical collection. I know. Let's get the physical collection going, right? We got which one? <laughs> That's awesome. I think so, right? That's cool. Little Ghost Rider action. Yeah, this Ghost Rider comic right here. Super nice. Really cool read as well. And it's going to be going to you. Love the cover. Just, you know, display them like I got them, you know, just put them around you. Super fun. It makes your, like, you know, makes your, like, you know, your wall look good, right? There we go. Dave says, ew, so you don't like them, Dave? That's all right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Little smiles right there. Let's go, Boba Fett. There we go. 1995. I know. Let's do the math. What is that? That's almost 30 years old, everybody. So once it passes like about 20 or so years, then technically you can call it vintage. So that's cool, right? So slider. There we go, buddy. Good to see you. Cole pops on fire. Giveaway champ, just three today, nothing major, but you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna just mail it right to you, right to your door. I won't show up, don't worry. Okay, I won't hand deliver it to you. I, you know, you don't want me showing up at your door, I'll never leave. Unless it's Hawaii, maybe I'll hand deliver it to one of the Hawaiians if we win this, right? <laughs> There you go, Christian. There you go. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, you guys are awesome. And like I said, you know, I know Vivi's doing their thing. They're locking stuff down and that's what they should be doing, everybody. And, you know, that doesn't mean we still can't have fun. And there's more than just Vivi collectibles out there, you guys. There's HRO. I'm going to show you in a little bit, too, in case you don't know uh, how you can buy them on Immutable X because they're literally on Immutable X as well, HRO cards. That's my way to get in now. They've started showing up there. This is great because I don't. I'm in Canada. I can't get an account. I can't be on the actual HRO site, so I have to do it another way. I had to e order on eBay, you know, like the cards, right? So, but I can get individual cards on Immutable X. So I'll show you guys that. I got my eye on Action Comics, you know, but we'll see what how what happens, right? So, Mario says, "What? Yeah, Dilemma wants the Boba Fett." There we go. You're the best. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. You guys are the best. That's why I'm doing that, right? Um, that's like last century. I know. That's like the, the, the previous century. It's 1995, all right? So, you know. <laughs> Dope. There you go. There you go. So cool. There we go. Killy says, aloha. Seriously, yeah, for sure, you guys. This is what happens on the channel. If you're members, I'm going to take care of you guys here. Let's go. 
There we go. The actor, I had a Boba Fett action figure in the box, sold for a nice price, had a couple of them. Yeah, it's not bad. They're going up over time. The older they get, the better they get, right? So it's not the original Boba Fett, like the vintage, vintage Boba Fett, but it's the 95 one, which is cool. And then the comics are rad too. There you go, Vivi Hawaii. Hopefully that helps your game day. I would cherish any of those comics as a My Collectibles Grill. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we queen wants one. I know. We'll see what we can do for you today. Boba. There we go. We got thanks. I'm just going through the chat right here. That's awesome. Loving it. Thanks, my collectibles. Good giveaways today. I think they're fun, right? Just a couple just to keep us going, treading water until we get the transfers back. And then we can do some more fun stuff. You know, it's actually cool with like not having 25 giveaways to do because I know it's super fun for you guys, but then I can get to talk to you guys too. Cause I really just love talking to you as well. So I love the giveaways as well. They're super fun, but it's also great to be able to talk to you guys, ask questions, look at things. Right. Um, so, Oh my God, I need this so badly. There you go, Ryan. That's so cool. Yeah, Sheriff's got the emojis going. There we go. Oh my God, I think I'm like uh, way behind in the chat here. There we go. Uh, it's, <laughs> that's so cool. Go Boba. There you go. What an, what an honor to be able to receive such a cool collectible. They would, they would be great, you guys. This should be fun, right? Nice giveaways. No, no, Dave. No spicy, no spicy uh, 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 tamales in the chat. No, no chili peppers are loud in here. Dave, one more time in your band. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Star Wars is brilliant. I know, super fun, right? Thanks, Mario. Appreciate that. Yeah, you love it. That's great. Super pumped. If they say no, thank you. It's a rebound. Yeah, true enough. Like he, like I said, if you don't want to send your address, I mean, like, hey, privacy, I get it. Totally cool because I I'll need it to be able to mail it to you. But I'm not I'm not going to show up. Like I said, don't you worry. And I won't be storing your address in some sort of weird email thing or anything like that. So it's totally up to you. Totally cool. I get it. No worries, right? So I want the boba. There you go. Yeah, you want it too. Oh no, no chilies, no chilies, you guys. Oh my god. One more chili. I'm gonna have to ban you. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. Of course. There we go. Scroll down right here. Let's get to some stuff. The second cover is amazing. Yeah, I know. This cover is rad, right? We got this comic here. You know, get into real world comics, you guys. It's fun. Go down to your local comic book shop. Talk to the to, talk to people there. You know, have some fun. Get, pick up some comics. You know, it's really cool. Read them. I mean, it's great. They, they're, they're so like, I mean, look, look, check this out. Okay, so I know it's like this, right? But I mean, look at look at how thin that is. You they don't take up a lot of room. It's not like getting giant statues. I mean, like you could have a whole box of comics and you know, they don't take up any room at all. Right. And you can read them, have some fun. Talk to your local comic book shop about Vivi. Tell them about what's going on. I mean, you know, I see a lot of people, this is one thing I wanted to get into you guys. It's a lot of people talking about Vivi. Oh, the market's down this and that. Oh, blah, blah. You know what? If you want Vivi to succeed, like I do, go out and tell people about it. And like, you know, tell them how awesome that the stuff is on there. All right. And like people will come and they'll see it just like I did when someone told me about it. I came and I was like, whoa. And I'm a I'm a crusty old comic book collecting toy collecting guy. And I got into digital because of what I saw. Right. So it's just a matter of showing people. So, you know, if you want me to succeed, you're a part of the reason it'll succeed. If you go and tell people about how how great the stuff is on there instead of harping about like, you know, oh, the market's down and stuff. You know, this is a great time to buy. No, Dion, no chilies. I'm telling you, stop it. Stop it, Dion. <laughs> Killy, you're making you're making um you're making Grogu upset over my shoulder here. Grogu, you're making him upset with the chilies. Okay. He's he's not a spicy guy. He doesn't like spice. Okay. So just you know, take it easy with the spices, everybody. <laughs> cool pop's got the fire. There we go. Unbelievable. Thanks. Yeah, you betcha. Yeah, this is exciting. I think so. We'll do it in about um Oh, let's go. We'll do one in about like about 10 minutes or so here. Let's do 10 minutes for the first game. In fact, let me just actually do that right here. Let's put the countdown timer up and then we can do that. So we'll do a countdown. Uh, we'll just do a uh, let's go. Let's go. What do we got? 10 minutes. Let's do 10 minutes of the first giveaway here. All right. And um, hold on one sec. That way, you know, so you, so if you want to go grab like a muffin or a cup of coffee or, or whatever, you just go right ahead right there. I'll just do the, uh, I'll stop the screen. I'll share the screen now. Let's go here. We'll just get it going. 
Let's share this right here. We got this little thing. Let's count it down. We got 10 minutes to the first comic book, and that'll be this comic book right here. All right, this comic book right here we'll do. And then we'll do the Ghost Rider. And then we'll do the Boba Fett, if you can believe it. Yeah, you want the Venom one. There you go. It's nice, right? I think these are better than the digital ones. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe, maybe not. We'll see, right? Uh, there we go. We got Cold Pop. Please let it me be. I love the toys. You got the toys. I know. Getting some like real toys is fun, right? There we go. Let's scroll down a little bit. Thanks a lot. What do we got here? Those are moon nights. Yeah, we got some moons right there. So anyway, like I said, I don't have any. I didn't get the comic yet today. I will be getting it, though. I will be stacking probably 10 to 20 of the uncommons, and I'll be picking up the secret rare. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I've been doing with all my last stuff, everybody. I've been trying to do that, you know, pick up like the recent comics that have come out, the good ones, get my hands on the secret rare while it's affordable because the older stuff is like really expensive, you know, the bigger, like the ones that are already established, right? So uh, there we go. Good luck, everybody. There you go. I know, fingers crossed. Good luck, Omi Queen. We'll see how you guys do with this. Give me a luau emoji. There you go. <laughs> you got the high. You got the fish right here. Let's go. Good luck, squad. Thanks for the generosity. Sweet comics. Yeah, for sure, Sarah. This is what it's all about. I really appreciate you guys, the members here. You know, we'll talk a little bit about what's going on, too, with the NFT project. I have the website almost launched. It's coming this week, everybody. By the end of the week, it should all be active. So we'll see how it goes. Hope you can get one. Yeah, for sure. I hope so too. We'll, we'll just do it right in the chat like we normally do, right? Those are nice books. I know I like them. I like those uh, comics quite a bit. Good luck, everybody. There we go. Great ones. There we go. When? So Mickey, like I said, there's the there's the timer, right? Oh, I, uh, this is hard to do. There, there, There's the timer right there, okay? That's when we'll do the comics and stuff. There you go. Little fishies right there. Good luck to everybody. That would be fantastic. Yeah, you bet. Thanks so much. We got He Nanu doing a little uh, super chat. Thanks so much. Smash the like button. He's so uh, He Nanu is so awesome too. Remember, he sent over a couple to give away, and then of course all the transfers went down. So we still got some from Hanano in the background. You know, for next time when we open up, he's got he covered too, right? He's so generous. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. That helps pay for some of the shipping, so that's cool. I appreciate that. Uh, good luck, my collectibles fam. There you go. The Ghost Rider. Yeah, it's nice. I know, right? We got Star Wars in the house. There we go. We got good luck from Mario. <laughs> Killy. There you go with an LOL. Uh, my, my collectibles emoji. Yeah, we'll get an emoji going. We'll do the, um, the drop heads. I'll do some emojis of the drop heads, right, for everybody. There you go. Very cool. Yeah, I think so, Adam. I think they're fun, right? I'd like to get them. So I like to give out stuff that I would like to get. I mean, that that's kind of the best, right? So... Good luck. Smash the like. We got Boba in the house. Uh, give all mine away. Bad time in life. You gave all yours away, all your toys and stuff or your comics. Yeah, I hear you. You know, you can sell them, right? You can go online. You can do whatever you want with that Boba Fett or those Star Wars ones. So Star Wars comic looking amazing. Oh, you mean the uh, the action figure? This one right here. That's an action figure right there. Look at it. Look at it. You can crack it open if you want. You can play with them right here. You know, he's got the back right there. Look, he's got all the vintage toys right there. This is from the 90s, not the original toy line, okay? There was a dark time, all right? All Star Wars collectors called the dark times. Like, after 1985, there was nothing until 1995. It's about almost 10 years. There was a couple, though. They came out with a line of, like, little, little um, die-cast Star Wars around 94. They had Bendems, these, like, weird, ugly Bendem figures around 93. But 95 is when they launched a whole new line. I think they got wind that they were going to be starting to do the new movies, you know, like the prequels. They came out in 98. So after 95, they started to release them all. And that's what this card is right here, you guys. This is the orange card, just for a little education here. This is the orange back card, okay? And uh, this is the night. So you can tell it's from 1995, 96 is because it's orange. All right. And there's two variations. This one is die cut to the Vader's helmet. There's a square. The original series actually is a square. It just goes right here like this. It doesn't die cut right to his head. So that's how you can tell the difference between those. And of course, there's a bunch of errors on this guy. If you can find a Boba Fett, you know, with those little circles in there that are like errors and stuff on his hands and stuff. There's error versions that are worth a lot more too. So there we go. We got fun. There we go. Can't wait. We got five minutes. There we go. Uh, he nano to the dono. <laughs> there you go. You need a comic, Aaron. Don't worry. We'll take care of you. We'll see what we can do. 
Let's go right here. This is th thanks for being a member. The Venom cover is sick. I know, right? Yeah, it's a good giveaway, right? I need all the luck today, Jenster. You know, I'm sending good luck to all of you today, right? Remember, there's only 74 people watching, so you guys have all the luck. This is not, there's three, right? So, Omi Queen wins. She's calling it now. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the boba's cool. Thanks for mailing these out. But yeah, no problem. Like I said, if you don't want you to give me your address, it's okay. You know, maybe we can do something after when the app reopens or something. I get it, right? So Hawaii flights are 109 from SFO one day. There you go. Let's get out there, everybody. Yeah, he's fishing right here. Maybe it'll happen. There you go. The boba, the boba fett looks valuable. It's not bad. It's not crazy valuable or anything, but it's it's getting up there every day. It climbs a little bit with the show too, like the mid 90s stuff was kind of overlooked for a long time, but I've been picking them up previously. I have, you know, I've been picking up tons. I, that's what I do, right? So there you little fire right there. <laughs> you too as well. Did I win yet? Not yet, Delamo. We're going to get you to the four minutes. There we go. HRO is so cool. I know I'm going to show you how I can buy on Immutable X in case you don't know. You probably know, but I'm in Canada, so I, I can't get an account. So I'll show you my site right there, right? So win or lose, this opportunity is worth the membership. Well, thanks so much. I appreciate that. It's only a buck, right? I like to take care of you guys, right? You guys take care of me, so I like to take care of you as well. Thanks, Shara, right there. There we go. A root jog is just fishing up a storm here. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything is all good. I know, right? Winning anything is fun for sure. The boba looks fresh. Yeah, it's nice, right? Um, let me just show you. So you can see I got, um, the, by the way, I got the Moon Knight comic here. You guys see that? I thought this one was going to drop in the app, but we got Werewolf by Night. This is the one that came after when he had his own series. So the Werewolf by Night is the first appearance. This is his first comic. So I got that one. But the Boba Fett, if you guys want to see. So this is what he looks like. This is what he looks like when he's out of the package right here. Pretty rad. He's got his little, you know, he's got his little thingamabooer with his jet pack, right? You know, there we go. He looks pretty cool. He can take his jet pack off, you know, total geekdom, right? I mean, like if, if you're holding toys at my age, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean, right? And the original is a little bit different. I'll just show you the original. This is the 1979 FET. So it's a little bit different. See how he's like more straight up and down? So he's not quite the same if you look at the comparison. Oh, sorry, uh, that way. If you look at the comparison, he's more straight up and down, right? So this is the original one. The original one's worth quite a bit more, of course, right? And if you get it in the package, it's worth thousands, right? You know, just thousands of dollars, right? So, you know, there we go. <laughs> Keep it going. This is like a second drop for the day. Yeah, we got two minutes, and then we'll do the chat one right here for the first comic. And then we'll get into it. It'll be some fun. And then we'll talk about some HRO. Yeah, you can buy HRO on Immutable with Omi. Yeah, you totally can. You can buy it with Ethereum as well, which is what I use on my MetaMask wallet. So you can connect that and it's so convenient. Um, we'll get you know VV on Immutable X one day because they've already said that's what's going to happen. We just don't know which ones, probably the art or something, you know, but it's going to be cool. I'm, and, you know, get to know the system if you want. Get an Immutable X account. It's not hard. And then you can get to know and can play around with the system. You have to load, you know, currency in there. You have to connect your wallet digitally. So you got to use Chrome. So there's all sorts of things. Maybe I'll do a video about it another time once I play around a bit more, right? But I'm looking at some of those cards. They're more expensive on there than they are on the actual HRO site, though. Uh, they're, you know, because they're, you know, there's fees and things and people listed them for a little bit higher, right? So there we go. A little fire, right? Let's do a meetup in 808. That would be cool, Gary. Where is 808? Where is 808? Is that like a, in the state somewhere or where is that? HRO seems dope to me. Yeah, it's super fun. HRO looks good. You can have both. I have collections in different areas. I got on the open C, you know, mutable X now. I got NBA Top Shot. You can get HRO. You get VV. You know, I mean, real world collectibles. I mean, it's all good fun, right? So Dave Nelson, there you go. You have a listing on uh, Immutable X. Nice, Clint. Which one is which one do you have listed? Let's maybe get that sold today. There you go. You hit the like button. Thanks so much. 40 seconds, everybody. Basically three decades, three decades, basically. I know for the 1995, it's crazy. Let's go. There we go. Better do it randomly this time, I think. Oh, yeah, we're going to do it randomly, you guys. Don't you worry. I'm going to do the chat thing because it's just quick. I could do the thing. I can ask you guys, do you want me to do the randomized number for the members? Now, we only have, we have 88 people here and we have 240 members. So we might have a bunch of rebounds if we do it that way. I don't want to take up too much of your time, right? I got to end this around five because I got to cook dinner tonight, right? So 
five, you know, Pacific time. That's where I'm at. I'm on the West Coast, right? So a uh, little, little checks. Let's go. You were eight in 95. There you go, Christian. Nicely done. You know, I was actually um, in 95. I was uh, 19. So, <laughs> oh, there it is. We're done. Okay, there we go, everybody. We're all done. Let's remove this. Let's let's go okay on that. Let's get to it, everybody. Let's stop the screen. Now, let's share. Now, what are we going to do? What are we going to do here? Let me just take a quick look, everybody. Okay, we're just going to do the chat one, everybody. We're just going to do the chat one just because it's fast. Now, this is going to be, let's just share my screen again here. Let's share the, the comic book. This is the member giveaway, the web of Spider-Man. All right, this is rad. Let me just uh, quickly open this up right here, guys. I want you to know that it's a real comic book. It exists, okay? This is not a piece of paper. So there we go, right here. Look at the back right here, Marvel Superhero. So this comic book is from 1992. So it goes back a little further. Web of Spider-Man. Look, we got the Ghost Rider right here. We got Venom. Check it out. You can like, such a good story, you know? Oh my gosh, look at this. Look, you got crazy, crazy carnage action going on in there. Look at that. Look at this. Look at, look, look, look at this right here. Crazy action going on with symbiotes and stuff. It's just absolutely nuts, you guys. Super fun. You know, I mean, look at this psycho here. Look at this. Look at this crazy psycho right there. So you can read all about that if you win it. I hope you guys like it. Here we go. Little comment in the chat. Don't do a paragraph. Just do a comment. Otherwise, you won't win, everybody, okay? So let's go right here. I think I can do it now. Everybody's here. I'm going to close my eyes. Let's scroll. I'm scrolling down. I'm scrolling up. I'm scrolling down. Now I'm stopping right here. And who do we got? There we go. <laughs> we got Adam and Randomizer. Well, we did it in the chat here, Adam. So you win this one. Hope you like the comic. There you go. Everybody say congrats to Adam. Make sure that Adam's here. You're still here, Adam, right? You just won the Web of Spider-Man. 95 in the real world. This one's going to get sent to you. I'm going to shoot it right out to you. Now, like I said, if you're okay with sending your address to me on Twitter or Instagram, you know, like in a DM, like in private, right? I'll make sure that I send it to you. You, you don't have to send your name or anything like that, a real world name or whatever. And uh, it's up to you, right? But I'll shoot it over to you and then you can have it. So that's pretty fun, right? So here we go. Ghost Rider right here. So Adam, are you, you're still here, obviously, Adam, right? Let me, yeah, there you go. How cool. I know you get to read it, Adam. So let's go. That's awesome. <laughs> YouTube, you want the Star Wars, don't you? I know you want the Star Wars, right? That's cool. Okay. So like I said, this is the uh, Ghost Rider comic. Let's just, let's just check it out right here. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Now, this is a bit newer, everybody. This one's not quite as old, all right? You can tell by the price. It was $3.99, okay? Not, not a dollar. And let me just double check the uh, the year of publication on this one. 2009, so it's not that that old, but this is it right here. You can see it, right? It's nice. Look at the look at the look at the ad on the back. Old Spice. <laughs> you should, maybe you should flip it around and display it like this, right? <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh my gosh! But this is a really cool comic. Check this out right here. Look at the art right here. Look at this. It's got an ad on every second page. Look at the Ghost Rider art right there. Super sweet. What do we got here? Look at this. The Ghost Rider. He's going crazy in there. I love it. You know, the thing about more modern comics is they have less words, right? I think attention spans less. So people don't want to read giant paragraphs. The older the comic gets, the more paragraphs you get in the word bubbles, right? So we're giving this one away right now in the chat. Let's do this up, everybody. Do a little comment and then I'll just scroll in just a second. Okay, we got 83 people in here. So like I said, just one comment, everybody. Don't spam like, you know, a paragraph. I will disqualify you. That's not in the spirit of what we're trying to do. <laughs> no one does that anyway. So that's cool. Okay, here we go. You guys ready for this? I'm closing my eyes. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling. I'm stopping right here. Okay, who do we got right here? We got Growler. Growler, you got to win today. You needed to win and you got to win, Growler. So that's your comic book. There you go. You just won the Ghost Rider right there. <laughs> That's super fun, right? There we go. Ghost Rider's coming your way, Growler. There you go. Give me a little comment just knowing that you got it. Now, like I said, 
in the description of this video is Instagram or Twitter, my links. So send me a DM there. Just give me your address and I'll shoot it off to you. No problem at all. Right. So that's cool. <laughs> oh, Growler. That's a first win for Growler in here. Right. So there we go. You know, just make a comment down below so I know you got it, okay? I, you may have already commented, but I might have missed it. So just comment right now. That way I know you got it. Otherwise, you know, if you left, we're going to have to rebound it up, Growler. You know, we're not going to hold it for you forever. <laughs> Everyone's saying congrats to Growler. The only person who hasn't commented is Growler. Growler, claim your comic, my friend. Let's go here. Come on, Growler. Give us a comment. <laughs> we got congrats, right? There we go. There we go. We got what's what's the best gate tricks for these giveaway drops? Yeah, this is just spam gate. You know, you just make a comment. There we go, Growler. First win in the house. Congratulations. There you go. You win the comic. That's nice. That is awesome. All right, everybody. This is the Boba Fett now. Let's see who wants this one. Who's excited for the 95, right? Here we go. 95 right here, which is nice. Now, it says right here at the bottom, you could still join the Star Wars fan club. Now, I wonder if you actually sent the $12 in, in and you'll receive a subscription. I wonder if you actually sent the $12 in if you would still become a fan member. <laughs> of course, you'd have to cut out the proof of purchase here to do it, right? But I wouldn't do that, right? And by the way, just so you know, so there's a couple of variations on this one. You can see the additional language on this. It's There's French on there because it's from Canada, this particular one. But you can get the, the U.S. version, which is just English. So this is like an international edition, which is less printed than the actual American one, which has like just English on it. This is the international one because it's from Canada. Now I have both in my collection. I have multiples. There's even another one that's got Spanish on it, which has got a really beautiful logo right here. But this one has got all his stats on the back. You can see it right there. Uh, Boba Fett, he's height. He's about 1.8 meters with his armor on, which is cool. Yeah, bounty hunter, human, freelance. His vehicle of choice is the Slave One. Now they changed that name, the Slave One. They don't use that anymore. It's now Boba Fett Starship or whatever it is. And so this has still got the original stuff right here. So now I don't I don't think anyone in here is under three years old, right? Because it says right here, if you're three years old and under, you can't play with this toy. So as long as you're not three years old. <laughs> okay, let's do this one up. Who's excited for the Boba Fett? We're going to send you, you, it, do you... This might be your first vintage toy, right? Like not original Star Wars line, but you know, this might get you going. Once you get into these things... It starts to become addicting. You go on, you start looking for R2, Luke. I can actually show you a couple of those two that I got, right? So let's do this in the chat right here, closing our eyes. And if you're not a member, you know, this is what you're missing out on, everybody. So close your eyes right here. Okay, let's scroll. Let's scroll. I'm scrolling up. I'm scrolling down. Now I'm stopping right there, everybody. And what do we got? Oh, my gosh. Check it out. YouTube says Star Wars and YouTube, you win. You got the Boba Fett right there. Totally like just by fluke, everybody. There you go. <laughs> you win, YouTube. There you go. You got it. You got the chat right there. You wanted it. It hit your comment. That's all it did. There you go, everybody. Say congrats to YouTube. <laughs> Sounds like a bot. No, he's legit. He's legit. Yeah, there we go. You got it. You got it right there. Nicely done. Congratulations. So like I said, now you can go to, you know, uh, Instagram or Twitter, send me your address. I'll shoot it over to you. No worries at all. Right. So no worries at all. <laughs> what a coincidence. I know. Right. You know, you just comment down below. Right. There you go. Kobe collects is here. There you go. Kobe, you guys could have won too. Right. We've got drone division. Let's go. Yeah. Mikey's the giveaway king. <laughs> spam gate worked yeah your comments were just even with everybody else so that's awesome right so you guys won you i won with no bots there you go no bots today in the chats you know mario says hello and haha -ha. there we go francisco says congrats there we go everybody so that's pretty awesome right so let's get into this everybody really quick so members don't worry i got you covered the website is currently under development if you want to check it out early go to mycollectibles.net that's where you'll see, you know, the drop heads. It's coming together. I got the website up and running now. There's no links. You can't buy anything yet or anything. We're going to have the Discord coming soon. Don't worry. 
and I'm going to get this all uploaded onto the open sea. Hopefully by the end of the week, that's my target is by Saturday to launch this project. And you can go check it out on the website, mycollectibles.net. If you want right now, there's nothing there. It's just, just a little bit about me and everything. But of course, you know, it's a, this one page called Dropheads collection and it's there and you can look at a couple of them just for fun. So that's going to be sent out. Like I said to members, but you got to get an open sea account. If you don't have an open sea account, I can't get, I can't send one to you and you can't buy one or participate later. Now they're going to be up on the open sea after I'm going to do a members only stream and uh, you know, I'm going to send out members only, you know, information. So only you get it first and you'll be able to go there ahead of time. Even after you get the one I'm going to send you and you'll be able to go to the main collection. You can scoop them up. They're going to be like super cheap just for fun, like nothing major or anything like that. Don't worry. And it's just going to be for fun, but then you can display them, do whatever you want. I'm going to make some emojis in the chat for it. It's going to be lots of fun. Right? So <laughs> Oh my God. He lives in the small Island on near Bermuda. It'll cost 18,000 to ship to a small parcel. I know. Right. I don't know where these are going to go. I don't know what the addresses of the winners are here, but you know, like there we go. Right. So <laughs> we'll see like how far, hopefully they're not sent too far. Right. You know, if it's, if they're in Canada, Kobe, you know, if they're in Canada, that's what it's going to cost the most. If I try to send something to you, it costs more than if I send it to like Florida or something, you know what that's all about. Right. Canadian postal service. <laughs> Pump for the website. Yeah, you can check it out, mycollectibles.net. Like I said, there's nothing there to grab yet, but you can just go have a look at it. I have a description of what it's about, you know, and then of course, you know, we're just getting, we're just getting started. It's going to be a big week, you guys, a big week for members here on the channel. So this should be fun, right? There we go. Go, go giveaway. Yeah, the giveaways we got them. We're all done on those now. Thanks everybody. Like I said, for participating in that. I really want to thank you guys. It's super fun, right? So um, there we go. What's your thoughts on the split persona drop on Wednesday? I think it's going to be fun. I think it looks good. You know, I might get one just for fun. We'll see what happens. My, I'm approaching drops a little bit differently. Like I'm going after them, you know, if they're really cool, I'll go after them for sure. I always try to, but I always then also maybe like don't rush to buy whatever comes out right now in the market and the way, the way the current market is at the moment. I just wait a little bit. That's why I'm waiting for the Moon Knight comic. I haven't bought it yet, but I will. I'll be getting the secret rare. I don't know where it's going to go. I don't know if it's going to go up or down. I might be making a mistake on that. We'll see. But I have patience. It's going to, it's in the app now forever. I don't have to rush and get it the moment it comes out. I, you know, I'm going to check it out and see where it goes. And then, you know, of course, I want to pick it up for as low as I can, right? But I don't want it to go down. I don't want it to be low, but I'm just patient about it, right? There we go. Little little island right there. There we go. Look forward to, uh, to telling everyone in my world. There you go. That's what I was saying, everybody. So this is my thing, you guys. So like if you're on Vivi, all right, and you have collectibles here and you have comics here and all that kind of stuff, you should be telling everybody you know about how cool it is. You should go into comic book shops in your local town or wherever, collectible stores. You don't have to go in there ranting and raving or anything like a madman, but you know, you can go in there and you can mention it, ask them if they know anything about it, plant the seed. I mean, this is what we want. We want more people in the app. And the only way to get them is by people hearing about it, right? We can sit around and wait for people to just randomly sort of like organically find us and find VV, and then we'll get more numbers like that, right? Or you you can actively go out and you can actually tell people because once i was told like i didn't know it was there like i didn't just it, you know vv didn't contact me i didn't see it on some like you know website i'm making these videos the last one i just did about like um all the most expensive stuff that's geared as well to new people who may don't don't have anything to do with vv i tagged it so maybe i'll get some of these comic book collector channels and people like that are going on to maybe find that video so you know like you guys can share that if you want like just to get the word out and like, you know, this is how you build the community, right? So sitting around and moping about the market and talking about like, oh, prices are down right now and all that kind of stuff. Fair enough. I understand. Right. But at the same time, switch your attitude around, you know, start telling people how amazing it is. We have Marvel Comics and Disney and everything like that. And then what you're going to get is you're going to get more people interested in it. And you have stuff in here, right? So if you're worried about your investments going down, right? Well, you know, start telling everybody how awesome the app is, right? Like, you know, if you just tell everybody that everything's going down, then of course, you know, it just creates more negative energy. And I'm actually like really excited about the opportunities to buy right now in the marketplace. That's where I'm looking. I'm looking in the market right now, how I can get ahead in the future. And I'm just telling everybody I know 
about VV and about like how cool it is. I'm also telling them about HRO. I'm telling them about NFTs in general. I'm telling them about cryptocurrency. I mean, this whole digital revolution, it's up to people that like us that know to tell people who don't. And they just, they'll, they'll migrate over. That's what happened to me. Someone told me about it. I was like, oh my God, what is this? Right? So, you know, so then it became like super great. Right? So there we go. We got... Uh, Guam is a U.S. territory in the Pacific. We have a postal service and a zip code. I have first class party mate. Yeah, sounds good. I'll ship it to you. No worries. Boom. There we go. <laughs> also, Casey, yo, what's up, everybody? There we go. Adam says, thank you, man. So much fun. Yeah, so just connect with me. Just send over your address. I'll ship it off to you. And it'll get there at some point, you know, but don't worry. I'll ship it to you, right? No worries. Uh, it'll just be regular mail, okay? I won't be prioritizing it like next day delivery, okay? It'll be the cheapest mail, so I hope you don't mind waiting a little bit. Nice sight. Yeah, thanks, actor. There we go. Kit is funny. I know. I was so excited. It totally caught me by surprise. That drop was like completely caught me by surprise. It caught a lot of people by surprise. I mean, it's such a cool car. You can drive it around. I mean, who knows what we'll be able to do in the future with that thing, right? So we got the secret rare Aston Martin that you can drive around and do everything with. And of course, that one's, you know, quite a bit rarer, right? Obviously, you know, in terms of value and everything too. Um, but this is like the most affordable, drivable NFT car. And it's really cool in the world. And we have it. So I think it's fun. If everybody has one, then great. I'm not expecting it to go to the moon and, you know, be worth a million dollars or something like that. But who knows? I like the value to go up, of course. But I'm getting it for fun. It's a great NFT to own, right? It looks rad, right? I got to head out, but thanks. Yeah, thanks, Execu Speak. We'll see you soon, right? Verena's in the house. How you doing? The rebound champ. She's here. <laughs> Fantastic four or five real world auction, heritage auctions. Currently, current bid is 115,000. Ends in two days. Wonder how this will affect our beloved NFTs. Hmm. Well, the only way it's going to affect our NFTs, everybody, is if you get out and tell people in your comic shops about the comics on Vivi because they don't know. They just don't know about them. So who's going to tell them, right? You're going to tell them if you want. I mean, if you want your comics to go sky high, start telling everybody about the Vivi comics and they'll come. Somebody told me I went and looked at it like back in October. I was like, oh, man, I'm in. Right. And this is coming from a comic book collector. So I just needed to find out from someone. Right. So. Opening my OpenSea account tonight. There you go, Mario. Get in there. You know, be careful, right? Remember, like I said, um, OpenSea is the Wild West. If you think the VV Marketplace is like crazy, check out the OpenSea Marketplace, right? So like, you know, but getting an account, totally free, safe. Everything's great with that, right? So uh, really, that's one of my favorite comics, Dr. Doom. I know it's absolutely incredible. That comic is amazing, you guys. Yeah, fish, <laughs> fishing. What's the fish thing there? Fishing in the open sea, right? <laughs> there we go. The only thing with telling people is always they they will tell you they can't get the money out argument uh, with MTL. We'll solve that. More people feel safe to invest. Oh, yeah, for sure. Totally. That's all going to happen, you know, but like you might want to tell them to get in now before that happens, because that's when everything's going to boom. Right. So after MTL comes in, you see what's happening with HRO. Now, HRO, you can like, you know, cash out and all that stuff. And it's like really exploded. So, I mean, the thing about it is like, you know, NBA Top Shots is a very similar system. And I got into that like last like June and July. And it was really pumping then too. And before that, and of course, everything stabilizes and comes down. And then, you know, there's always ebb and flows. HRO is pumping right now. So you could probably make some good gains right now. But remember, it's going to come down over time and it's going to stabilize, right? Like this is the way it works. It's so new and fresh. Everyone's all over it. And that's fantastic. So we'll see what happens, right? Trey says, how you doing? <laughs> good to see you, Trey. There we go right there. We got Send address via Instagram. Is that cool? Yeah, totally. I'll look at it later. Don't worry. I'll get that out. I'll send you a message back, making sure I know it's you, right? Chris says, Moon Knight opener on Disney Plus also has Doom's Castle and Valley Town as a main backdrop. Vivi is always hinting good stuff. I know. It's so amazing. It's given us all the things we need. Now, if you haven't seen, let me just close this right here. If you haven't seen uh, my latest video about it, Okay, I'm just going to turn this off right here. Hold on a second. I actually, you know, give a little bit of a uh, bonus material at the end, like I usually try to do for you. I'll bring it up on screen. We'll talk about it really quick. Here we go. Where is my, oh, uh, where is my thing right here? We got, oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> this was actually quite funny. If you want to check out the video, 
I'll scroll down. Hold on a second. Let me share this right here. There we go. Most famous. Okay. Um, I wanted to show the most famous stuff right here. It was pretty fun. So, you know, Spider-Man, 140,000. Uh, Marvel Comics, 141,000. Uh, Sp Spider-Man Secret Rare, 25,000. Okay, these are, like, this is big-time NFT numbers, you guys. 15,000 for Partners, 12,000 for Harley Quinn, like 11,500 for, uh, you know, Fantastic Four One, you know, 10,500 for Rizzo. I mean, 10,500 for Secret Rare Spider-Man. You know, 9,000 for Avengers 8, Secret Rare. You know, Todd's 5,400. I mean, these are not cheap NFTs, everybody. I know they were higher, but this is like astounding prices. These are big, big, big time NFTs and they're on VV. Now, this is the bonus. So right here, this is what we had. Um, let me just hide that there. So we have the press starting now for the Thor Love and Thunder movie. They're starting their press tour very shortly. They did a whole tweet about it. You can follow them actually on Instagram and sorry, on Twitter. You can follow the, the latest news for this. And they're just starting their like press tour now, which means we're getting a trailer like any day. Like I actually predict the trailer would probably be around mid-April just because of the fact of when the movie releases on J July the 8th. They usually do it a couple months like back from that. And, uh, you know, but we might get that trailer a little bit sooner than that. And there the three of them are, right? There we go. We've got Chris Hemsworth in the middle right here. You have Valkyrie. You've got the director. He's really funny, by the way. He's super hilarious. He did Thor Ragnarok. So, you know, this movie's going to be really good. And, uh, you know, Chris Hemsworth says, some long, lead, some long lead press for the Thor Love and Thunder with these two wonderful humans. A day of wackiness, a day full of wackiness and hilarity. Get ready, folks. This film is going to be wild. Now, that means for VV, we're going to get drops on Thor, Love and Thunder. We already have some VV uh, stuff in there. We have, you know, um, Beta Ray Bill's comic, which is super rare. You know, we got the little frog with the, with the little frog Thor, right? We got all sorts of stuff. And the Guardians of the Galaxy are in this movie big time, everybody. So think about that. We just got first appearance Gamora's comic. I mean, this all makes sense. It all comes together. And it's, you know, Vivi's the only place that has it. So that's pretty rad. What do you guys think about that? I, I'm super stoked by it, right? So Double Quill says, hey, how you doing, Double Quill? Good to see you today. There we go. I'm a marine biologist, Aaron, just having some swimming fun in the chat. There you go. Nicely done. Marine biologist. Cool. Very cool. <laughs> Bob Sales, is there any way you could sign my drop head digitally? You got this. <laughs> yeah, sign it digitally. Yeah, well, they're all going to be individual, like one of ones, right? So 100% uh, agree. There you go. Love of my mint 1983 kit. Nicely done, J. Kill. 1983 mint. That is amazing. Knight Rider aired in 82 to 86, and the car in the show was a 1982. Yeah, that would be right. If you could have 1982 or anywhere in that span, the inside of the car looks a lot like the Back to the Future car. You know, the same sort of design, right? You notice that with the buttons and everything? Super rad. And just like I was, you know, just like everyone was saying, if you grew up during that time, that show was astounding. It's a lot of fun. You go on YouTube and watch full episodes right now. It's actually pretty fun. Hasselhoff is hilarious, you know. <laughs> I watched Moon Knight today uh, for five minutes later. Then they tweeted the drop and it was really good. Yeah, I know. It's so good, right? We got the second episode coming. It should be fun, right? So Steamboat Willie has dropped so much. It's dropped from its all-time high. It's true, everybody. But you know, it's still Steamboat Willie. Never fear. That's what I say. Just tell everybody about the app. That's the way to go. Moon Knight at the 502 mark, there is a QR code on the wall. Scan it and it will take you to a digital comic. I uh, wish it took you to Vive. I know, I saw that. It takes you to a digital comic. That's so cool. You know, stuff like that's going to keep happening more. There we go, right? So seriously, yeah, I know. It's so cool. If you actually go back, you can see it. It's right on the wall. Like a good point out. That was like in the museum, right by the right by the fire, um, uh, fire alarm, right? With, which is really cool, right? So. I've not bought a Moon Knight Secret Rare yet, although my trigger finger is getting a little itchy. Got an uncommon on the drop and been slowly stacking just that. There you go, Hinano. I'm in the same boat. I haven't got one yet, but I'm getting close. 
tonight probably we'll see we'll see how it goes i'm definitely getting uncommons though probably stack about 10 to 20 of them if they're at the right price you know you know and then i'm just gonna sit on them they're just gonna sit there i did the same thing with you know the morbius comic i got 20 uncommons and the secret rare i'm laughing about that it's so fantastic i did that with spider girl did the same thing you know obviously <laughs> you know i did that with a lot i got tons of you know, i tweeted about like some of the stacks i've been doing lately you guys can go on my twitter account i'll follow you back and you can see i, I tweeted a little page with some of the ones i've been getting and i got the four you know kit cars so i'm stoked about that we'll see how wednesday goes you know maybe i'll get moon night too i'm not so sure we'll see right uh you don't have any copy of the common oh this is for hinano no it looks like he only has the uncommon right it looks like the bots are waging a bit of a war with vivi by dropping prices for the latest disney drop particularly the seas and all uh, and uncommons there you go no problem perfect chance to scoop them up i don't mind <laughs> drop the price all you want now like i said if you're looking to sell now is not the time if you want to buy now is the time right so like don't sell low if you can you know buy that'd be great now i've sold a few things over the last couple of days to position myself for some of these drops because i want to get these comic books and i want to get them stacked because you know once they go up over time in value then I, this is the time that i never had back in like you know like last april like all the way back last june or july or august or even when i got to the app in early october i wasn't fully aware of like even at that time the opportunities that i could have taken advantage of so i'm taking advantage of these opportunities now for the long haul everybody and you should too that's just my opinion right so my collectibles thanks so much for the giveaway sorry but i don't have a twitter instagram or other social media are you on discord i can share my yeah so uh youtube so just email me so you just go to my website okay so it's mycollectibles.net i showed it a little bit earlier and you can just email me from there i'll actually just put my email in the comments right here you can just email me right so my collectibles at ymail.com now this literally is ymail okay it's not gmail spelt wrong it's ymail okay so it goes it's from yahoo mail so you can just email me there no problem youtube and just you know i just need your address any way you can right um there we go feels like vivi's becoming a bit uh, a bit part of digital hints like physical comics never could like newspapers were snapshots of yesterday's news now we're live in real time thrilling to be here i know chris that's the way i see vv they're giving us these hints way before other movies and stuff and trailers come out we're getting these drops you know i know moon knight actually has come out it's the first one in a bit that's come out afterwards you know it's kind of funny right but werewolf remember werewolf he's part of the supernatural group i know it's a moon knight comic but remember it's also werewolf by night Okay, and with Morbius and with uh, Ghost Rider, and we've just gotten the whole supernatural crew going on here. And that's a whole branch of the MCU that they're going to start developing. We're going to get the Ghost Rider like in the MCU anytime. We already got Moon Knight cooking now. We got the Morbius movie. We're going to get the werewolf. Okay, do um, what do you call um, um, Doctor Strange is in that supernatural sort of mix too. He's sort of mixed in there. There's a whole group about it. I could bring up a little previous bonus thing I did about a particular supernatural group that, you know, they, they actually connect with Black Knight and all sorts of others. It's actually really interesting what's going on, you guys, right? So not yet, but the floors and the uncommon and common have been rising. Yeah, I know. So, you know, it could be a good time to get in. We'll see. I'm going to look tonight, you know, do, you know, do my, do my math, my, my, my mental math. Right. So <laughs> yeah, there we go. I just missed that one right there. Um, uh, someone's buying these up. Yeah, maybe, maybe they're buying them up right now. <laughs> Delilah, hello, Vivi fam. Good to see you, Delilah. Good to see you today, right? So got it. I'll email you now. Thanks so much. I'll get to it later, of course, right? And I'll just send you a message about that. There you go. I need, indeed, Hinano, I was buying them at seven and eight gems. Now they're at 14. That's great. The price is going up. I'll stack a bit. We'll see. You know, as long as I can get them at a good price, that's good, right? So let's stop that screen right there. So let's check out a couple other things, everybody, while I got you here. Let's go here. Hold on one sec. So I'll just show you my website. And then I want to look at some, you know, HRO on Immutable. I'm so excited about that. But here's the website right here. Just getting started. Like I said, mycollectibles.net. You can scroll down. You can read a little bit about it right here. I got some samples of the dudes. That's cool. Down in the corner, you can connect to all my Instagrams and Twitters and stuff. This is a little page just about me right there. You can see there's a link to the six reasons why Vivi is the best platform. That's a video I did a long time ago. Like I said, I'm trying to talk about Vivi in the positive light to get more people here. 
I would recommend you do that too if you care about the app because you know everybody can talk negative about stuff all the time. If you start to get into that mindset, you miss the opportunities, you miss the positivity. And then of course I have an eBay part of my section here. You can see with the vintage toys. Now, by the way, this right here, this is the original Boba Fett, okay? This one. So this is the one we sent out today that we're going to send out for giveaway. This is the 95. The one on screen right there, that's the 79. That's the 21 back. That one's worth like anywhere from maybe up to 10,000 right now, you know? And if it's graded, it's worth way more. So that's just a little sample for you right there, just for fun. But those are some of the stuff I sell on eBay, right? But anyway, that's a whole other thing right there. That's not really what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you the Immutable X, uh, you know, the marketplace. We can talk about it. Now, I can't go on and I can't talk about, you know, um, uh, HRO on their actual site, but this is where I can do it. So if you're like me and you miss the boat, you can't actually get an account because you're not in one of the, I think, four countries that you're allowed to do it in. This is a way you can get in, right? So you got HRO right here. So like I said, you got Immutable X, you know, you got their marketplace right here. You can see all the fun stuff they got. Book games, Gods Unchained, uh, Guild of Guardians, you know, High Rise Creature Club. They got all sorts of NFTs on here, which is cool. We're going to get more VV stuff on here eventually. They have that deal with them. They're already been switched over. We just haven't got it yet. But this is where you can cash out and everything. You got all sorts of fun stuff on here, right? But you just go up to the keywords. You know, you can just type in HRO. And then there you go. You can see they're right here, right down there. This is what I can finally do. I'm so stoked. Here we go. Here's the here's the NFTs. You can search. So by any currency right here, I like to use Ethereum right here. So I can do that. Look, Omi's right there, you guys. You can see how much stuff costs in Omi. So if you own Omi, remember, you can watch my video about how to buy Omi. Or if you already know, go for it, right? But you, get, you can use Omi and connect your wallet. And you can actually pay for stuff that way already. So there's already utility for Omi in case people said, oh, there's no utility for Omi. You can literally buy NFTs with Omi right now already. So here's this. I like to use Ethereum because that, that's me. So I'm looking at this dude right here, Action Comics. This is the one that I want, everybody. I want this one bad. I don't own it. I'm thinking about buying this one right here. This is the one that I have my eye on. <laughs> now, people are telling me, oh, don't buy it yet because like, you know, you'll probably be able to get it cheaper in like a couple uh, 10 or 12 days because there'll be lots of them available. That's probably true, right? You know, once people get all the packs, start opening them up, they'll probably be more available. But I really want this NFT Action Comics one. I mean, ever since I saw this one, I've been like, oh God, I really want that one. So it's a lot more expensive on here than it is on the uh, HRO site. I think it's about 300, 350 US, you know, dollars or so this one with 0.224 uh, ethereum is kind of more like around 750 uh 600 to 750 dollars so it's around that range so it's more expensive on immutable x for sure because there's, there's not very many listed here right but this is the one i want right so we can go back to hro right here and we can scroll we can search let's go price high to low let's check it out let's go for the big ones oh we got the joker let's go not any currency let's go ethereum's right here 7,700 Ethereum's for Harley Quinn. I mean, some of these prices might be a little bit wacko, right? But look at this, 160 Ethereum's for the Riddler, legendary. There we go, we got Batman. There's that, oh, there's the epic Joker at 88 Ethereum's. Now, if you don't know how much uh, 88 Ethereum's is, it's a lot of money, you guys. That's like board ape territory, right? So these are some big ones. Now, I don't know if these prices are like, you know, uh, like I, I don't know i have to search the marketplace a bit you can see the prices start going down we got multiple listings there's more jokers for cheaper at nine and eight ethereums you go down to 6.7 so you can see that they're cheaper there's a 5.6 right there so if you know what ethereum's about it just gets cheaper as you go but you can search through i could type in just the joker right here this is pretty fun let's check them out right here joker i can look at all of them let's search lowest Let's go with the lowest one we can get. Okay, we got these dudes. Oh, this is cool. Look at this, 0.06. This is the Joker super villain. This is a nice little card right here. Nothing super crazy with these ones, but if we scroll, oh, here we go. This is nice. We got the epic Joker. Now, this is 0.99. So this one Ethereum is about 4,500 US. So that's the lowest one you can get on Immutable X right now. So that's pretty cool. Now, tell me, are you guys on Immutable X or are you on the actual system itself, the actual HRO site? So there we go. 
Have you seen um, that Vivi's looking for a senior marketing person? There are some hints in the description. Vivi will finally start the marketing frenzy. The world will know. I know, but we, we are the best marketing that you can do. Now, for example, there's a reason why Nike sells t-shirts with the Nike logo on it, right? People will buy them and walk around advertising Nike for them and they'll pay Nike to do it. Now you can actually go around and just do it on your own, right? Tell everybody about Vivi. That's what I'm doing. So congrats. There we go. Uh, how the chat goes so fast. I know, right? <laughs> uh, same here. I was trying to be conservative because of the market. Yeah, me too, right? I'm just waiting. You know, there's no rush for me. It's there. Um, if it goes up, it goes up, it comes down, it comes down. I'll pick it because I'm looking like a couple years down the road. I'm not looking at, you know, how much is going to be worth in a week. Oh, I better jump on now. Otherwise, I'll miss out because I'm going to flip it. No, I'm looking at like, you know, a couple of years down the road, right? So Batman card still for 60 or something in my, is my posting. Oh, nice. Okay. There you go, Clint. Nicely done. Are you on, um, immutable here? Is your HRO on there? Because that'd be cool if it is right. So, uh, there we go. Francisco with the thumbs drop heads are sick. Make a bald one with his hat on backwards. <laughs> here we go. Growler. There we go. I got a couple hat choices. I got the Lakers hat, right? It's not an official Lakers. It kind of looks like a Lakers hat, right? So no FOMO, no FOMO. There you go. It's a nice one. Action Comics one. I know. I love that one. I, I really want that Action Comics, right? So it's, I, it's, I know I got to be patient. I could go get it right now and probably overspend for it. Uh, there's only two listed on Immutable. That's the only place I can get it. Unless somebody wants to sell me a physical Action Comics card, like, you know, if they have the physical version, because I'd love to have the physical, you know, one that's un, unlocked, of course, or unrevealed, you know, and uh, then I'll buy that and then I can have both because I'd love to have both, of course, right? Uh, I see that I see that sell for ten dollars in the app at first, and a lot more bought it, and some uh, bought some, but not enough. They all doubled by the next day. Prices are starting to settle now, but not a common. There's not a common under thirty. I know, right? So there you go, there you go. HRO, that is exactly right. We got superstar money in the house doing some stars. How you doing, superstar money? There we go. Double call. Sold my Robin on HRO Marketplace for liquidity, but also have a common on IMX for OMI. So both. Yeah, you can do both, right? So for sure. Um, if, you, if you're, you know, obviously one of the HRO, if you can get an account, that's great, right? So yes, it's on Immutable X. Where is it, Clint? So you're selling, uh, let's take a look at it right now. The Batman card is still for 60 something. Let's take a look. I want to find your Batman right here. Let's check it out. Which listing number is it? Let's see here. Uh, it's for 60. So it's hard to say because this is under Ethereum. So should we go to USDC for 60? Is it around here? Where is your Batman card? <laughs> Which Batman card is it? Maybe we'll try to find it. We'll take a look at it. Maybe we'll try to get it sold, everybody. This is Clint right here. No FOMO. Um, which one is that? So Damon, what? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me what card it is. We'll try to find it. That'd be fun. What's up? My collectibles would have been here earlier, but my wife dragged me to Costco. <laughs> no worries. You got to do shopping sometimes, Damon. That's no problem at all. Hopefully you got one of their awesome hot dogs and a drink. That's what I always like to do. You can also buy some other stuff at, uh, at Costco that are really like collectible. So I always like to scope out their toy section, but that's just me, right? So anyway, we got this stuff right here. We got Batman. Let's check out the highest price Batman we got here. What do we got? Superior Batgirl going for high. Let's USDC. Let's just go Ethereum's right here because that's what I like to see. Yeah, you can see the same big listings right there. It's all, oh, we got the Killer Croc. We got, oh, this is a nice Batman card right here. <laughs> These are pretty fun. Look at this. I love this. You know, criminals are, are so superstitious. Don't you just love this? Criminals are a superstitious, cowardly lot. So my disguise must be able to strike terror into their hearts. I must be a creature of the night. Black, terrible. Uh, uh. A bat? <laughs> if you guys read some of those early Batman comics, they are so awesome. They're so so much darker. You know, they're all detective comics. If you ever read pulp comics from like the 1930s and 40s, you know, there's some weird stuff going on in those comics, right? Like Strange Tales or there's like Weird Tales. Weird Tales is a great comic book. I'll show you guys that really quickly here. We got Weird Tales comic let me just show you this right here. These are some of the most beautiful comic books that you'll ever see in the world. They're so amazing. I mean, look at these covers right here. Isn't that awesome? Pulp comics. They're so there's one of the more famous covers right there. You know, uh, let's just like, that's what, yeah, this is one of the more famous covers that we've seen. 
Frank Gruber, like this, this art is astounding. You know, I'd love to get this stuff on the app as well. If you guys are interested in this kind of thing, I've, I've looked at a lot of these kind of things in the past. I've actually owned some weird tale comic books, but they're like from the thirties. This, this cover right here is really epic. This is a very famous one. They actually reprinted this one in the seventies because it was so famous. I mean, these comics are so great, but that's the era that Batman came from was this sort of detective comics era. Right? So if you go to like the, the, um, where you go, detective comics. Let's go 1939-ish. Check that out. Look at the Batman comics right here. Of course, you got the original right here. So cool. I mean, look at that, you guys. It's such a cool comic. You know, look at the art. I mean, it's so astounding. I mean, look at the look at the beautiful cover art on these. Now, if you can get your hands on one of these in the real world, that is rad, right? You can tell the way he looked right here. See how his his mask was different. I mean, he was like kind of bat-like, kind of creeped out, super cool. There he goes right here, the Batman. If you actually look at this actual picture right here, hopefully we can bring it up a little bit bigger for you. Oh, I think it's more of a video right there. So never mind, we'll just go, go out of that. But that's pretty rad, right? So look at Batman right here. <laughs> In a place of Bruce Wayne, the wealthy social figure, Batman. <laughs> I love these old comics. They're the best. Do you guys own any of those? You know, so, you know, um, my VV collection, MJP. How you doing? Good to see you. Uh, are you getting some HRO? I'm trying to get some. I can, like I said, I can go right here and I, I have my account now on the Immutable X so I can actually find some. They're a little bit more pricey. They don't have very many on here, but here they are right here. I can actually start looking for some. I can get some Supermans. I said, I have my action comic number one that I really want to go for. That's the one I'm looking at. You can scroll down. You can see all the different ones right here. You can search for any currency. You can, like I said, everybody, you can go Omi right here. So I don't know if you own Omi, but I own Omi. And like, you could actually like, well, there's got to be some for Omi right here. Maybe none's for Omi. They're all selling for Ethereum. Okay, there you go. So people are selling Supermans. And like I said, the action one is the one I want. This is the one I want the most right here. <laughs> one day everybody i'll pick that up we'll see right what do you think of the dc batman cow uh cows nfts collab with palm they look sick i actually haven't seen oh yeah the cows like the uh the mask right yeah those look really awesome um actually let's check that out right here i want to take a look at that so dc cows palm let's go right here yeah these look rad check it out everybody I mean, how cool is that? These are NFTs. Okay, let's actually go to all right here. Let's see their, their website. Let's check it out. This looks rad. Palm Studio. Palm NFT Studio unveiled Batman NFT collection. I know, isn't that so rad? That is awesome. They look good. Are you guys going to be getting some of that too? Uh, a root jog, are you going to grab one of those? That's a cool collection for sure. There's lots of stuff happening, right? So you don't have to be just on BB. You can be anywhere you want. The potatoes, uh, the potatoes, the Batman uh, still card from the movie mint is, oh, okay. That's the one you got. So it's A61-1733. Uh, let's see if we can find that one. This is so fun. Oh my God. Okay. So let's go to um, HRO right here. Okay. Let's click in there. Let's add a keyword. Okay, so we got um, A61733. So A61733. Let's see if we can bring yours up right here. There it is right there. Is that yours, Clint? Is this yours right here? Whoa, nicely done. There we go. The Batman stills. Nicely done. <laughs> The Walking Dead comic is awesome. Yeah, the Walking Dead comic is amazing in the real world. I've definitely seen that. There we go. Posting. There we go. Trying to 3D print my VV collectibles. Yeah, Leroy, you could do it too. Or you could just like, you know, you can go get some pops right here. Look, at there's Zombie Hunter Spider, uh, Zombie Captain America, right? You can get pops like that. Or you can get Zombie Hunter Spider-Man as well. So, so who's going to buy this right here? Who's going to buy Clint's? Pit and Savage Dragon from Image Comics had some strange stories. I know, right? Super weird stuff. Really, really great. We'll see what VV does if they add more than just Marvel. Yeah, I'll try to grab at least one of those Batman cows. They dropped this month. I know, right? This, they look so cool, you guys. There's so many things you could do. There we go, Clint. Yep, that's mine. Thanks. Yeah, this is Clint's right here, everybody. Look at how awesome that looks. I have to turn it sideways right there, but that's cool. So is it easy, Clint, to... um? 
to share it on both? Like you have it listed on both. Like I heard you have to sort of transfer it over here in order to, to post it. Is that true? So let me know, right? Let's, let's help each other with this, right? Cause once I, I can't get on the actual, you know, account itself, I have to do it here. But if you own an account, like you said, you obviously you can list in two places for, can you list it for two different prices in two places, like two separate marketplaces? Um, let's go right here. I thought it was cool. Uh, I thought it was cool. Bought it because I couldn't get the packs. Yeah, it is cool. It is really nice, right? Uh, it was cool. <laughs> Isn't it still cool or is it not cool anymore? Let's see right here. <laughs> there we go. So I have, it says insufficient funds right here, but what I got to do is I have my MetaMask. I can just connect and then it just connects my wallet like up here in the corner. And I have to then, you know, put money into Immutable X from my wallet, just deposit it into my account there. You can buy crypto here, right? I can have my assets right there. And then I can actually buy anything I want on here, which is cool, right? So double cool. I have Wonder Woman 126 and Black Panther 15 physical, but most uh, my really old ones are Archie's. There you go. I love Archie comics. They're the they're the best, right? You know, how many of you sat back and just read Archie comics? Wouldn't it be so cool if we got Archie on VV? I don't know. I don't even know if there's Archie NFTs in the world. Probably not, but it'd be so cool, right? So so Clint says, yes, it's easy. Made my wallet today and transferred. So it was that quick for you. Nice. So you just transferred it over from HRO themselves and put it here. Now, do you have it like, is it transferred over and just it's not on HRO anymore? Like you have to only have it in one place or can you list it in both marketplaces simultaneously? That's the question for me. There we go. Is, yeah. <laughs> what do I think about the Funko NFTs listed on Wax? Yeah, they're pretty cool. Wax has got some interesting stuff. I've been looking at Wax, you know, before. We can check out that website really quick too. Max NFTs. There we go. All right. So that's, that's, uh, here's wax right here. They got some rad stuff. Check it out. They got cards. They got all sorts of good. There's, there's so many things you can do everybody. Oh, look, we got the Atari games, Robotech. Wax looks pretty good. <laughs> you can get started. You can go to the wax cloud wallet. You can, uh, create NFTs. You can try to like put stuff on there. Obviously you have to have a contract with them. Right. So let's go to the, uh, wax marketplace let's see if we can check it out I, I don't have an account with wax open at the moment i don't think so let's check it out here's wax so you have you, you have to get your wallet okay you got the marketplace right here um let's just check out wax nfts and let's go funko just to see some images let's just see some images of the wax funko nfts Okay, here we go. Let's check it out. We got Spock. They're like cards, right? That's cool. Of course, then they match up with this kind of thing in the real world, right? And you can see in the corner here, it says NFT release. You see over in the corner over here? And so that means that, you know, you don't, I've seen these in the stores, like the pop store, like pop Funko stores, like where you have the, it doesn't unlock, you know, it's not like the cards where it unlocks your NFT. I think it just shows that it's a release. As far as I know, um, I don't think you can scan and actually. So it just shows that this was a this was a release like here. So you have the physical and the digital, but they're not connected like HRO cards are. So, you know, and then you got like a bunch of other ones. You got Captain Kirk. This is, this is just the Star Wars stuff, right? We got the Ninja Turtles right here. There's a video. This dude right here has got Ninja Turtle video. You could check that out. People are going all crazy about it. There we go. We got the series one coming August. So the series one already came like in August. So those are already on there. That's pretty rad. So you guys can check that out if you want. That's pretty neat. You know, look at this right here. You got Bebop the card. Then you got Bebop. Then you can see over in the corner here. If you actually see this, where my, where my mouse is circling, you can see that that's where they show that it was an NFT release. So that's really something. It's a neat line. And uh, I don't know how much they're worth, like in the real world or anything like that at the moment, but Let's try to sell this card. Come on, everybody. Buy Clint's card right in front of our face. That would be great. <laughs> you can only post one in one market at a time, but it's free to transfer from HRO to uh, Immutable X. No gas fees. Very cool. So you can put it in both. Is there a reason why you put it here as opposed to there? I mean, there's not as many here, I would think. So maybe you can actually, you know, get higher value for it. That would be awesome. So I sold a common HRO. Um, I picked up for eight in the marketplace for 50,000 OMI. Nicely done. 50,000 OMI. That's pretty good, right? Uh, Hot Wheels. There we go. What about Hot Wheels? Do they have NFTs as well? Is Hot Wheels on also wax? Because that would be amazing as well. I don't know. 
Yeah, that's crazy. I know, right? That's good. See, there's opportunities right now with OMI. So like I said, OMI is not just some dead crypto you can't do anything with. You can actually use it. It's actually quite good, right? Um, I can see it in my HRO, but I can only post it in one marketplace. Okay, that's cool, right? I'll tweet some screenshots when I get home. Yeah, thanks, Clint. Sorry to ask you so many questions. I just wanted to know a little bit more about that, right? So that's really cool. So there's his NFT right here. HRO. There we go. <laughs> Super cool right here. Let's let's type in the Joker again. I want to take a look at the Joker. Look at this one right here. This is pretty cheap. I could pick this one up pretty good. 49,621 is the mint number. Look at this. That's pretty cool, right? So um, he's a super villain. He's got all the different uh, attributes here. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I'll check it out for sure, right? I'll definitely check that out. You know, so that's pretty cool. That's what I'm looking at anyway, right? So, <laughs> oh my gosh, right? Oh my gosh. That's crazy, right? Let me just get my little thing back up here. <laughs> For my live stream, so my members right here. Here we go. Hold on a second. Let's just share this back up. There we go right here. Okay. And we're going to go single page view. That's good right there. Okay. So we got those giveaways done. That's good. We got the drop heads. We covered all that. That's great right there, everybody. Well, guys, it's five o'clock. I think that's good. I think we're going to end the broadcast now. Thanks, members, for coming. You know, uh, one last comment here. I have three other cards on uh, in HRO. Just wanted to learn how to transfer between it. Yeah, now's the time. Get in there. That's why I got my HRO. Um, sorry, my Immutable X account. I actually had it before, and uh, because of you know VV and everything, and uh, but I've been waiting for those NFTs to get over. So I'm just waiting on that as well, right? So you know that's why I'm like getting in there now, learning how to use it, connect my wallet. It's all for the future, right? You get in now, right? So thanks for the advertisement. Always appreciate. Yeah, for sure, Clint. Hopefully you can. How do you transfer from HRO to IMX? Well, Clint, maybe you and Ponyboy can connect with each other. You can show them how. Am I back? I think I'm back now, everybody. Oh my gosh. Am I back? Yeah, I'm back. I'm going to be going anyway in just a sec. I just want to read a couple more comments. Sorry about that. You can have a better look at the Batman cows in the NFT DC Universe website. I'm only reluctant on the number of editions. I hear you, right? Just got here, Pony Boy. It's good that you're here. Thanks so much. Just at the end. It's all right. Uh, Secret Red Moon Knight floor for 339 gems. Yeah, nicely done. That's good. That's good. I'm going to go after that pretty soon, Hinanu. Thank you so much. Aloha. All right. We'll see you next time. Yeah, thank you too. Great stream. Lots of fun. Lots of formative live stream. There you go. Uh, Mr. Freeze got you, LOL. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got frozen there. Anyway, thanks for coming to the stream, everybody. Tune in on Wednesday. I'll have more news for you. That'll be our regular live stream as well. And I'll have more news for you about the NFT. I'll stick with my Twitter and my Instagram, you guys, because I'm going to be sending out information there and doing another video about it. And uh, it's all coming out. I'll give you the guys, the members. I'll give you guys the access to the, you know, the Discord that we're going to have. It's going to be great. So everything's coming, everybody. Thanks a lot for coming. You know, I'll see you next time. Thanks, members. Have a good night. Happy collecting. <laughs> Enjoy your night, everybody. Thanks. We'll see you again.